Hey guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday. I'm your host, Just Jocelyn. Today is Season 7, Episode 10. Episode 10 of Season 7, we're halfway through. And I thought that it would be a good idea to bring back He Say, She Say. So if you've been watching Talk To Me Tuesday for a while, you know we've done this several times in the past. But I got my live panel today. We're going to get all into anything male versus females. I got the girl power over here. We got the fellas over here. And I can't wait to get into the topic, so do not forget, make sure that you guys are tuned in, stay tuned. If you have any questions, anything you want us to discuss, feel free to post the comments. We got our director in the back, they're going to give us all the questions, so make sure you guys stay interactive with today's topic. I'm so excited to have these amazing people with me, and they are all pretty self-acclaimed, so I'm going to give everybody a chance to introduce themselves. Of course, you guys know me, I'm just Jocelyn, I'm here representing for the queens, for the females, and we have... The amazing cast of not only Ray the Personal Podcast, but then we also got, oh, we got over here to the right. Can we get you to the right? Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're to get to the Because I already know for a fact, already know on surface talk, this is not this dryness. So can we, can we get some more energy? We got, we got Blackie Chad in the building. Oh, Blackie Chad. I'm like, I'm like, you know what? You know what? He's not gonna give me these vibes. We gonna we gonna warm them up. We don't know what he got in this cup, but we gonna go on and warm them up. And we got. We got our first go F R C O dollar sign in the middle. You know that go. Period. Ready to curse when we gang all that. The gang is all here. Whatever. So, you know, I, I can just, you know, stand my ground. So, once again, I want you guys to feel free and feel open to ask us questions, anything like that, because this is your opportunity to get that male perspective or get that female perspective. Real quick, before we get into that, I definitely want to shout out the show. Shout out to these amazing podcasters that we got in the building with us. Let me get a round of applause for our podcast. Because they're And I know how hard it is for you guys to do what y'all do. So, I appreciate y'all taking the time to come. And fuck with the kid on Talk To Me Tuesday, so I appreciate that. And we'll learn more about y'all podcast. Y'all gonna let them know where to find it and everything like that. What days? We gonna, we gonna give y'all information, so don't worry about it. Don't be asking them questions about that. Don't be trying to throw your panties at the phone or not. We're not doing that. Right? Slide in the DMs right now. And slide in the DMs, but after the show. Right. Because I don't want you to miss nothing. That's, that's, the only, that's my only stipulation. Just wait. Just wait till after the show so you don't miss anything. So, ladies. I know that some of you guys, y'all might have came already with some questions. What's your biggest issue with these fellows right now? Right now. Because I have a communication. Mm. 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 I'm going to give y'all a chance. We got accountability over here. We got communication over here. Mm-hmm. We'll be over here, what's, what's the situation right now? Because I know these mm-hmm. ladies. I'm going to say effort. Effort. Mm. 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 Like, 
Oh, they just they feel the word they <laughs> Afro. I'm loving the vocabulary thus far. Uh, daddy issues. Period. Huh? <clears throat> he hit a bar. I'm he hit him with a twitch twitch. Boom. Okay, so hold on. I'm, I'm going to have to start there. Only because that was a stat. And I'll put a trigger warning out here just for anybody who is viewing just in case because, again, this is open talk, open communication, open forum. So this is a very, very judgment-free conversation. We don't want anybody to feel offended, but there is a trigger warning. So if you feel like you may be offended by any of the things that we say, we appreciate it. We apologize. But this is an open space for us. So that's done. <laughs> so, yeah. Listen, we have to keep our PC together. Okay, we're trying to get syndicated. So daddy issues. Because now... And I'm a devil's advocate with you right now because I think that a lot of people, like now that we know daddy issues is a thing, it's applied to too many circumstances. Mm -hmm. Everything that a girl does that's anything or having anything to do with a relationship doesn't necessarily stem from daddy issues. So let's, let's give me your point of view on that because you said it for a reason. I mean, everything is over-exaggerated. The goal, the Greatest of all time, all those things. Oh, guys. Well, let's see what they She wants to talk about that. So, so daddy issues is, is sort of like a, reflected, a reflection of how you grew up or okay. the lack of the expectation comes when the next man will come. So okay. Like, you have girls who date older men due to the fact that there was no dad. And sometimes they don't even recognize it. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you, you meet a guy who's good, you can't even recognize him because you have issues and the pressure is too much sometimes. It's like, Gradually, let's get to that point where you become our responsibility. But you're already in the dating process. I don't have. I am today. Exactly. So let's get to know each other on a longer. Let's figure out what we are mm. before me, we start to respect. Can I stop you? So, ladies, yeah, I, I, I got my. Please come on. Men yes. have mommy issues too. Mm -hmm. There's men that grow up without moms, and then y'all, y'all expect us to be our moms. Like, who? <laughs> Let me sit on this. I'm just. That's true. You, what you? Cause you want to be the stop Y'all, y'all expect us to be our mom. Y'all want us to pick out your clothes. Y'all want us to. I am go grocery. Y'all want me to go grocery shopping for you. You want me to warm up the car for you in the morning. Whoa! <laughs> that's a nigga job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that goes to shopping. I was about to say, yeah, I'm not warming up no fucking car. You go out there in the cold. I still. And if I gotta come out there with you, I wanna blame you. Control, not all y'all, but I'm saying y'all. No, I understand. I'm coming. Maybe they take control and stuff like that. We just expect a woman to do what women expect or naturally. You know what I'm saying. Do. So isn't that literally the same thing? I, you no. guys expect women yeah. to be nurturing and yeah. cook for you, clean for you, these things. So I'm expecting a man to pay for my shit, take care of me, warm up the car, yeah. shovel, take out the trash, yeah. rub my feet, all the good stuff. But that's later on, though. That's no. Okay. If I naturally, if so, we got good brothers still saying women are naturally right, nurturing. You can't tell just because it's naturally. You got it in you too. You just gonna hold yours, right? And to fuck that. <laughs> okay, so my point. I feel yeah, like that's why we get caught up with no titles, though. This is the thing because, and I wanted to, I wanted to go back to what you said. The the, the verbiage that you used was basically figure out what we are first before I am that to you. But we're a lot, and I'm going to say, man, where, where we fuck up is not even just the title because I'm not waiting for you to get to be a my dad. If you ever have a chance to be my husband, you got to be doing this shit as my nigga, as my boyfriend, as the nigga I'm talking to. Because mm -hmm. we, what you don't know, and I'm about to fuck up the game real quick. Oh, really? But y'all <laughs> There's like 17 of y'all. <laughs> so if you start acting like you're not doing this, then you're not even going to make it to, to cut the team in our Understanding because you said we're not your dad, so what are some things 
if the if the nurturing aspect for the female is it's cooking okay. and cleaning and washing clothes and going grocery shopping, all that, all that. But when I said nurturing, all that, I still said without it. Like you do that with the type. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so either way, we like, date, and I don't want you to cook me either. No, I don't expect it. Okay. But okay. if you do it, it's like, all right, cool. You that's what. Like, but that again, some extra money is right here. Let's go. Because and that's what I think a lot of it comes with expectations, and we all know males and females. We just walk around with these expectations. Yeah. So many of them we don't even understand. Some of them are deeper than others, but it all boils down to expectations. It's just right. like if you do something for me, that's nice. But I'm ex- in my mind, if I'm expecting you, if the first time you meet a girl, and it's just like, yo. You don't cook? Well, I do. Right. <laughs> for my kids and my family. Well, right. Right. The fuck for you. Well, right. expectation, though? Let's give me a Expectations when, when I'm assuming, like, this walking around, like, this is the assumption that this is what you're going to do, this is what you have to do. And if you don't come doing that based on your reasoning, like, we're only dating and I'm just, you know, I didn't think that we were there and I had to do that. But in my mind, I'm expecting that. I'm already mm-hmm. assuming that that's something you're going to do. I set that expectation. So when you don't, you don't even know that you're now getting kicked to the bottom of the list because that's something I expect. But one of your things that what's your name? Nene, right? Yes, let me get some names. We got Nene, Trees, 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 Jocelyn, Let's go, Let's go. Yeah, and Chad. So, Chad. My name's Chad. Right. That's it. <laughs> don't ask me. Don't ask me no no. One of the things you said earlier was communication, right? Mm-hmm. That us guys suffer with. But the expectation that you have for a guy mm-hmm. is bad communication because it's one self thought of what should be done, but you didn't tell the other person that that's what you expect. So, like, if you expect me to uh, rub your feet because you rubbing them on me, I didn't grow up that way. Mm-hmm. So you're expecting it, and you irked, and I don't even have a clue. So you got to figure that's out what type, of, mm-hmm. what type of guy you have. Do you have a learner? Do you have somebody who's willing to know what you like? Do you have somebody who naturally just gets you because you guys have a connection? Mm. Or you just got a lap dog? It's your responsibility to figure it out. So, so when you said communicate, where were you where were you going with that? I meant like my issue with guys is that when things go wrong, they don't know how to communicate. Not like I know if I put my feet up on him, like if he's sitting down on a couch and I put my feet up on him. He won't automatically rub my feet because he already knows. Like, would you sure. automatically rub? So if somebody put, if you're a girl or a chick, you know, so what would you do? If I, I don't not me, you don't pet me. Okay, so see, you're definitely <laughs> down. <laughs> but if you're an ass, you want to go back on it. Okay, so like, but I'm an ass person. I'm not a freak. Exactly, exactly my point. Exactly my point. So no one's telling me, are you an ass man? Are you a breast man? Are you a feet man? Are you a figure man? Are you a dog man? stuff is important to figure out. Like you, you have to have a list of things that you Literally. like. When you're going on a date with somebody, you, all questions <laughs> on the table should be asked. If you want to ask somebody your credit score, you can ask them that. Yeah. No, no, it's it's not but <laughs> but, 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 but so let's get into that. Bro, bro, that's the reflection of who you are. Though. Yeah. Your credit score ain't got shit to do with you. All right, I'm not. That's a whole other topic. Well, we got, we got, we got, we got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, like, I hear you say, like, the problem with a lot of people is not our communication, that y'all expectations of how we communicate. Like, mm-hmm. if we not get it, if you feel like we not communicating, yeah, if we not communicating because things are not right, then maybe I'm like, I'm distancing myself for that reason. You know but I also feel like men, y'all kind of like run and hide when things go bad, and then y'all kind of just wait until things blow over, and then y'all come back. Like, they're not they like, they don't get busted. But y'all the same way, though. But y'all the same way. Y'all don't have to say, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. So instead of not saying, I'm sorry, y'all just let it pass over and then be like, what you I'm doing? Y'all saying sorry. Y'all not saying y'all. I'm saying, who's that? I'm saying sorry. Okay, I'll say. I'll say. I'll say. I'm sorry. Go that way. I'm not sorry that happened. You've been leading to that side a lot. No, no, no. I'm in the middle saying, I apologize if that hurt your feelings or anything like that. Because I, that just comes, I'm just going to go there, but that just comes with like, okay, I did it. I'm not sorry that I did it. That's just, so when you cheat, are you sorry? No. Period. Yeah. yeah. Well, you no, sorry? No, no, no. You sorry that I'm not sorry? So I'm not sorry that I did this. I'm sorry that you got, I'm sorry that that hurt your feelings. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that, that, that I'm just going to ask. You can be sorry that you did it, though, because that's the time. He ain't sorry that you did it. And you well, ain't sorry either. No, I am. I, I was oh, you said I am. You sorry that you got 
how are you sorry? So how are you sorry you did it? How did you do it? Because sometimes it wasn't even worth doing it. You know. But you did it, so you're a sorry. You saw it. You saw it. You not sorry. You not sorry to me. All right, listen. I mean, you just, like you can you can do something like you like everybody made mistakes, right? That's what that's what happens when you say sorry. You made mm-hmm. a mistake, right? Yeah. So if I cheated, I made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? But like, was, was it only a mistake because it just ended up not being worth the risk? Yes. Because I feel like no, no, no. So are you sorry if she doesn't know? Like, do you come to her DMA? I'm sorry, oh, I cheated on you. You're never gonna find out. You ain't never gonna come to DMA and a long day and cheat. Oh, man, I'm sorry, I'm cheating on you. She don't have an idea in the world. Well, if I get caught, then that's what I'm saying. Sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry.
responsibility to figure it out because you gotta pay attention to the signs. You gotta pay attention to the signs. Alright, so. I'm just saying, as far as what you just said, and you better help them out. Because, like, you better help them out. Help them out because you just said women are, we we have the inability to have tunnel vision on what it is that we want, right? Correct. That's what you just said. Correct. And we're coerced by the opinions of others and our girlfriends and things like that, which I definitely believe is incorrect. And if it is correct, then it is definitely the same. Yes, it's both sides. On both sides, it's just not the same aspect because y'all don't. What y'all don't even be knowing which type of woman y'all want. Y'all don't even know what. Like, what are the standards? Let's let's just know that. That was not my question. No standards. What are your standards? Long hair. Like, that's my that sounds like your bad experiences. That's no, that's what that's, gets me for all that. That's what guys. That's that's huh? That's a bad majority. Right? That's, 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 that's a majority, right? That's that's right? Um, you know, I grew up all guys. They okay. don't. They don't particularly care. They like it to have sex with it, but that's not the woman they want. My but then how did they got with the difference? All of my all of my guy friends I grew up around all boys. I'm lying to you not. They don't care. They don't even like the makeup. It's just we right. think we do it for ourselves, but we act like we're doing it for them. No, y'all. Well, I don't. I don't. So they have to take it as an advantage. Huh? I said, what's their number? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the makeup. No, the makeup. But I just know, like, just from hearing them talk because they talk comfortably. Right, right. Mm-hmm. They don't care for that. They're like mm-hmm. half the stuff that we care about. They they know, 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 they know. Okay. So yeah. let me say this to the fellas, right? We have an audience member saying that according to a female that grew up around all guys. Guys really don't care about makeup and body and shit like that, right? I mean, not they, that they don't care. They don't care, but they don't they don't look at that like white people. That's not a qualification that like That's but are, that's what you gonna fuck. So how the so disadvantage she's simply saying it's not like how fuck how many, her. How many, how many girls look at their guy cheating and be like, damn, you cheated with that, right? It's like it's Have you ever cheated? Yeah, yeah, sure. And what's what girl is like? I mean, it's why like, did you cheat? I want to know why. I want to know why. Y'all put, y'all, come on, no. Well, he's not cheating, he's cheating with his wife, he's in the past. Right. He's showing the past. I mean, because the man is only going to do what you allow, right? So right. even if you knew my situation and you gave me the opportunity, I'm just going to do it. But it's having a weak flesh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's, not, it's not like you look better or you look worse. It's just an opportunity that opened up. So that's why guys So you're an opportunity right? cheater. Oh, all time. Okay. So what I was gonna say. No, no, no. Let's be clear. You said all time. No, no, just say like all of your instances, all of your cheating scenarios were just because a sense of time. Okay. Right. At that time. Right. At that time. Crimes of opportunity. What I was gonna say in regards to between the audience members' comment and then what you guys are saying. So if. The look and the makeup and the body and everything is not the qualities that you're looking for in a woman. Then the disadvantage that I feel like us as women face going out in the world is then how how do we get picked? Basically, it's right. like well, if all I see you looking at is these girls and this type of person, and you're saying you want a bitch like this, and this is your WCW, and these who's persons you double tapping, then how am I even supposed to know that you're paying? Like, what are you going to pay me some money? Uh-huh. Right. Right. So right. that's right. the right. 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 Go out of society and do the same thing. Y'all, y'all got your picks too. You know what I'm saying? I never right. was right. saying there was no picks. Y'all are trying to get out of I, I, got my I, don't I don't think that that's a good question. I don't think that that's a good question. I don't think that a woman, and I, uh, it's not this, I'm just saying, I don't think that it's a good question because. <laughs> because. <laughs> because <laughs> you won't just be a woman. I don't know, because look, no, in the series, I don't think that it's a question to ask because you shouldn't have to make it up to be recognized by a guy of like what he wants. I think you gotta literally be yourself. And the of guy course. that's for you is for you. Now, Makeup and all of that stuff, a lot of the times we as men are have weak flesh, and I'm going to be honest, we have weak flesh, so it's really a conversation piece. You'll have a guy who will walk down the street with the baddest chick, but go get in the house with a chick that a lot of people would say is ugly. I mean, for us sometimes, it's not always about how you dress or how you look. That's just easy to walk down the street with. But okay. More like so then it still goes back to the influence and perception of the public but sure, that but you I just said like, that we, we're, we're, we fall victim to. But I feel like a lot of stuff that women do, and I'm not speaking for women at all, but I feel like a lot of stuff y'all do is going to impress other women. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole makeup thing. I want to make it. I want well, to I've never wear makeup before a day in my life. Fuck that. Okay, I got some right like, now, but your, I don't, I'm trying to impress myself. But if you get your hair down, right, who are you sending it to? You send it to your group message, like, yo, is my hair lady, or you send it to your nigga? I'm sending it to my nigga. Who's going to talk? 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 Who's going to talk?
I'm so you say grab, I'll get the grab to see this, right? You're not sending it to your shoulder, that's not your shoulder, but you see No, but you saw me. She saw me on the grab. She saw me on the grab. And double tap that shit while I'm double tapping that ass. Nice. Nice. Look at that haircut here. First and foremost. You know what I mean? The first person I'm sending it to is the group. Then I'm sending it to the group. But I just said that, though. I just said, y'all, get your hair to the group. No. You need to get your hair to the group. Yes. What y'all talking about? We don't talk about it. Same shit we talk about right now. <laughs> oh, you want to talk? No. Uh-oh. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I do, do, you, do you do you guys honestly feel like over the last five years we kind of starting to be on an even seesaw as far as what guys do versus what women do? Because back in the day, what, what back in the day, like? back in the day, as guys before text message probably. Like, how the fuck are we going back? Because you said before text messages. She said, I don't know nothing about this. I'm 26. All right, so. Uh, okay. All right, so. Okay, your first uh, 26, too, right? So even before right. text messages, it would be a conversation like, guys would really be like, yo, man, that's not, I hit this chick. Yo, she was crazy. Her body was crazy. And oh, like, now, that shit. And then now we send a new text like, yo, look at this girl last night, like, whatever. But now I've got friends that are girls. It's like, oh, we send. Men dicks to other. Oh yeah, we do. For sure. If you send me a dick, then you deserve to get it sent out. You send me. But I'm just trying to see the parallel of how we're starting to it's be. It's like we're starting to be on. So are you saying like just the just savage like, mode is activated on one, both sides? Not even just the savage mode. Everything is starting to become like, more even. Like because everything that I just say about you guys, you guys. Yeah. Like so when, I like the term she used, where objectifying. Yes, and yeah, I feel like it's been. Kind of for so long, women have been objectified and they've just been the victim of that. And now it's just like, fuck it, we with the shit too. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds wrong. That's it. You it sounds wrong. That's how do you lose at the end? I think that I think that because this is sounding like another common misconception. You uh-huh. think that our feelings are less than, or that we don't have the ability to be. I, I'm going to just use the word savage, but it's just like I don't have the ability like to that. send a dick pic and not give a fuck. No, but do you really think I'm going to get no, hurt in the end because I'm going to get hurt in the end because men use very animist, animalistic instincts and women don't. It's not cool for a woman. Like, if I say, hey, let's go up the day and say, how many bodies you got? It's not cool for you. Don't ask say, me that. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to say, do you really don't ask me that. But I'm just using an example. I'm just using an example. That's how you never want to. I feel like nobody really wants to know. And guys, you think it's cool, but it's not. It doesn't make me want you more because you that's fuck that bitch. Women want men. You think that? Women want men. This is Wacky Chad from the Service Thinking Podcast. I'm here with Judge Jocelyn to talk to me Tuesdays uh, where you get attacked for being yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just do <give me> you. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Please. No. It's the same. It's the same. No, it's not true. true. I'm like like you know, like 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 a nigga in a club band. Yeah, I'm more likely to talk to the nigga that nobody knows because like you for the people. No one even knows he's there. You for the people. That's a common misconception. You assume. Again, this is this is the point of us having this conversation because it's a lot of assumptions. This person get a better understanding because that is incorrect. But you have made, you can't argue with them because you have females, a variety of different females, even in the audience, telling you that's not the scenario. I disagree. I might I might want to fuck them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just like you just said, I might want to fuck them.
But is that natural? Is that a natural? Is that is that something? Because I look good as shit, and y'all all get the same shit in the grand getting. I'm gonna give you like an hour to look at it. But is that a natural comfortability for you? Or is that something that you guys have? Is it grand season? Yes. That's yes. It is, and I think that's where the issue is. That it's like you have a hard time as a man, and I'm not attacking you, but as a man, you have. There is a you have your own the inability. Yes, yeah, just like women have to be vulnerable creatures. Just like bitches is out here, like yo. Yeah. It's 2019. Just like you said, the seesaw is there. We're all living in the same society. How long do you think women are just gonna be victimized? Just like no, can't beat them, join them. What's up? And I still get my husband or get my wife when the time comes, and I see somebody that has those qualities. But other than that, all y'all niggas getting ran through. Just like y'all running through these bitches and well, see y'all figure out which is, one you want. I totally understand what you're saying, everything. But on, is that a natural thing for you a woman to want to do? I don't understand what you're saying. It's, it's, not, it's not a natural thing for me to want to do either. It's sure. you're in a space where you just choose to be playing the field versus you're not ready to settle down. There's women that don't, we don't just turn 14 and be like, okay, now I'm ready to be a wife and a mother. And no, I'm not here ready to play the field just like you. And maybe when I turn 30 or 40 or whenever people want to settle down, that's all individual stuff. It's not like girls are groomed until they turn 18. Now let's marry you off. This is not the 20s and we don't live in Rome. Like, no, I'm not marrying me off. That me and him was listening to, I think it was like a Trina song or a City Girl song. But he was like, have girls always felt like this? Like, because now it's changing. Like, girls are being vulgar. We disrespecting this shit. I didn't niggas in our songs. And he like, did y'all always feel like that? Are men this disrespectful to y'all as y'all are to us in these songs? I'm like, yeah, men always been disrespecting us on songs. And now the tables are turning. We disrespecting y'all. We running y'all pockets. We telling y'all how we really doing it. And y'all don't like it. And the sad part, and I'll even just add on to that, the harsh reality is, these are things that we've been doing. We just didn't talk about it. We just had more respect for ourselves and for you guys to not play you and fuck with your male ego and say, yeah, I'm running your pockets. But meanwhile, yep. the man's job is to provide. And yeah, I'm going to eat dinner. I'm already cooking for my kids. Here, I made you a plate. I'm going to put 41 and make you feel real special. Yeah. And here you go. We got a question? Oh, okay. So it's just like, especially if you go into the music, these are things like, that's human nature. It's not like, oh, men are just naturally, because not all men are naturally assholes and they want to be cheaters and they want to speak with multiple women. You have men that just want to be one woman, just like you have women that want to be with a lot of men. I don't want to be married. I don't want to have kids. You have those women out there. So, it, you know, it exists. It's just not as blatant. And I think that people have a hard time, especially depending on how you were raised. It has a lot to do with what you were raised. If you were raised real traditional and customary, it's like your ideal, that goes back to the mommy and daddy issues. Your ideal of a woman is my mom, if your mom was a street runner, you're just like, oh, bitches is out here. If my mom came home every day at four o'clock, my dad got home at six, she took his shoes off, rubbed his feet, fed him warm milk, it's just like, this is the type of woman I want. Mm-hmm. And I don't see women outside of that, anybody that's not fitting into that category is not worthy or they're whores or whatever, when it's just like, I'm doing me. It's a lot of different categories. So what gets you to a point where you're doing you? Like that, that same you say, I'm doing me. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Everybody. I want like everybody to answer you. Something different than everybody. Yeah. yeah. Everybody give your ideal of doing me. Because it's not always like just sexual. Hold on. I got to put this. Sorry. <laughs> but. Because I still agree with Chad. Before y'all go into that, I'm going to okay. explain why. Okay. Right. And Chad said that females want the man to get on the females. Right. You're going okay. To Y'all said no, like it's not a thing. No, not like to wipe them up. Like the same thing like you're not saying. They basically want to fuck them. Well, yeah, yeah, like for real. Like, you you, you see the girl who's trying to body and you want to have sex with her. I see the guy that everybody wants just like, oh, he might got money. Oh, he probably can fuck good or he probably get real good here, but I don't want to be. But I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why that's the thing. And it's because I have like, I'm like listening. she's saying, like I grew up with males, but I also have female friends that okay. don't fight me. And I think it's solely because it's not like that you want the man that you know fucking on these bitches. It's like he's more attractive if you think he's ignoring the bitches. And then since they want him, you want to acquire whatever it is that they can't get. Now you know, that's the thing. And that's then get to the point of marrying him. It's like, no, because then your own insecurities play into it. Because in your head, well, he gave you all these other bitches. What I'm going to marry him for. But you got to So I agree. So I, and I think I everybody should be a man. Exactly. You got to be a real But it's about the guy that. I think 
think that the determining factor in how you and it goes both ways. Yeah, yeah, it. It's the one thing for the guy that everybody wants versus the guy that everybody got. Right. If he's fucking all these bitches, then no, you're for everybody. But if all the bitches want him and he's fleeing him and he nobody can't get close to him, yeah, he look good. Yeah, he's this because it's the same thing with female. Like, she can be very attractive and all that, but you don't know that she's out here smashing mad niggas just because right. she got a nice body. Are you nobody can't. Nobody get her. Nobody get her. Nobody get her. She be curving everybody in her DMs just like oh, you no. don't know that he's fucking mad bitches either. That's, That's just because you insecure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, saying like, I think that the difference is. The difference with that desired person is are they desire or are they getting? Mm-hmm. Are they the person that everybody has? Do we want that person? No. Do we want the person that everybody wants? Yes. Everybody. That's not even insecurity. I feel like that's an ego thing. Everybody. Right. Yes. I want everybody to want the nigga, but nobody can't have them. But how do you know that? If I know that he's out here saying, like, if you're out, you said at a party. Mm-hmm. So if you're out at a party, how do you know that? that? That person. Yeah, like being how is he? How is bitches? Just because they're looking yeah, at him and walking at him, or are they all looking like this? Right, 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 right. So you want him to curve all? Like the he day for me. No, 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 and I don't know you from a can of paint, mm-hmm. and you want you want me to be in the corner ignoring <laughs> bitches all part, the whole party. I don't know you for shit. I don't, but I don't, what if we talking though? Like we'll be talking our day. Then all right. Well, first of all, we're not going to a party because that's the type of time we want. I might have pulled up at some party. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I might have pulled up. Well, listen, because we only talking like we ain't together. All right, but see, look, I'm but all right. I don't, I'm not. I'm not going to speak for all men, but I know me personally. If we talking and like, all right, say we like, we like, we run, we at the club or something, like we mm-hmm. running to each other. All right, look, you do you, I'm doing me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, but but I still see you. <laughs> yeah, but all right, but I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be respectful with it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna touch you, my friend. But, but the context y'all just gave, y'all said she just asked if we, Maz just asked, yo, if he had, how you know if he, uh, if he, if he liked that, right? I and y'all said, if he, he, no, y'all said he in the corner giving bitches stiff arms and shit like that. <laughs> right? No, it's not like that. I'm like, so no, how do you know if a female so right so we can ask the same? Because I'm not saying necessarily give the stiff arm. I thought we were talking just as far as like. Neighborhood people or whatever like that, like oh this boy's from around your way. You always see him. And, oh word on the street is he fuck my bitches or word on the street is he got money or whatever. You're gonna know. Like you can check them just like you can check a girl's reference. Girls talk to just like yeah I fuck them. Oh you fuck them. Oh yeah get his man. It was like good. Like you can ask me out. All right. Like, that just goes back to the influence. Like what he was saying. Like you're taking the influence of what other people are saying. Whereas y'all saying y'all don't want to know this information. Y'all don't know how many brothers are that. Yeah, I don't want to know. Either way, I don't want to know how much. But why would you love it? Because I don't give a fuck. Right. It's right. not. An, it's really not an insecurity. Well, I can speak for myself, and I guess you guys can individually state. For me, it's not an insecurity. I just honestly, I don't want to know because I don't want to answer. That's yeah. my. That's my. Just bring your own answer. Like, like I don't want to ask the question. I'm not asking the question. I don't want to give my own answer to. Because you don't want to know. So I don't care. It's four or four. You don't want to know. So it's two different things. Do you not want to know, or you don't want to know because you don't want them to answer? Because I don't care. Like, I, well, yeah, like I don't. Either way, it's not good. that way not influence me. All of that happened before me. Yeah, it, it ain't gonna matter for me. It don't matter. If you had a lot of bodies, I hope you had a lot of practice. Right, right, right. I'm correct. So right. just, she just said all that happened before me, right? All right, so that goes back to the whole thing where y'all say, oh, we don't want a man that had all these all these women, right? So that's the that, like, that's, that's the same thing. Like, all right, all that happened before you. Like, it's up to you and your vibe to be like, mm-hmm. all right, cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, now I'll, now I don't want these bitches. Now I'm, I'm the nigga that was fucking on these bitches, but now you know what I'm saying I want to judge now you. I'm you know? Now, yeah, now I'm that's it's all about the vibe. Like, that's all that. Mm-hmm. How did that person then become a teacher? Huh? How did that person then? The vibe was up. We just had this conversation. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. We wanted to get too crazy. My fault. Y'all can go back to what y'all were doing. <laughs> <laughs> what does doing you look like, Chad? Huh? What does doing you look like? Yes. What does doing you look like? Thank you. I mean, at the end of the day, you want to die, right? When you die, you want to think that like you did everything that you wanted to do, right? So I think that that um, it depends if you're single or if you. If you're married, right? mm-hmm. so when you're okay. single, of course, I like that differentiation. You don't you don't owe anybody anything. You do whatever makes you happy in a sense, right? But when you're in a relationship, you have to do what the compromise requires. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm okay. saying? You, you got to give and take. So for me, my do, do me comes when I can go into the man cave and might watch the Eagles game. So I understand mm-hmm. my sub categories of 
how my parameters are structured. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm by myself, doing me really is whatever I want, however I see it, and mm -hmm. then hopefully somebody can change my perception and wanting to settle down, right? Okay. That's what I think um, doing me is. I believe that. I'm, I'm not commenting on anybody's. I just have my own answer. Go ahead. I mean, my, my whole thing, it's not even really a, if you married or if you single or not. I feel like doing you is just improving yourself. Like, mm -hmm. like I feel like doing you is like doing something that helps you mentally. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It don't got to be sexually. It can be, yo, I'm just, oh, I'm just focused on my career right now. I'm doing me. Mm -hmm. Or like, yo, I'm focused on this endeavor. I'm doing like, mm -hmm. I'm doing me right now. It don't got to be a whole, it only got to be relationship based. Right. Like, everybody has their own opinion. But does, does doing me have a little bit more than 50% of selfishness? It's got 100% like of selfishness. Right. It's, all, it's, all, it's all for you, right? right. you know what I'm saying? And I, I understand what you're saying, like, yeah, you, you're like, all right, like, I'm here, I'm not out here, I'm saying doing. It's a parameter of me doing me in the time that I, oh, I'm like, I'm I'm like, I'm like, I got $13 of doing me. I'm gonna be like a pizza <laughs> and a shot. But the rest of the money is different. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. So, all right, ladies. Okay, to me, doing me is just like staying true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, yeah, I'm in a relationship, but I still can keep my own views. I still can have my own opinion. I still mm -hmm. can be me outside of just being known and being with you. Because right. I feel like people lose themselves in relationships. Mm -hmm. sure. So, staying, doing you. What you mean, lose yourself in relationships? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you lose your identity. Like, it's like, oh. Being the person that they want you to be. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's and a different type of relationship, right? Yeah. No, because even it's, it's very, it can be very yeah, small. Like, too much. Too much. Oh, there is a such thing. He likes mm -hmm. my hair this way. Let me get my hair this way. Oh, he likes my nose this color. Let me get my nose this color. But, it can be something as small as that. But what if it's a balance, right? If, like, my wife and I got this thing where it's like, I might buy her clothes and she buy mine because mm -hmm. I want to make her feel special, but I know what I like to see her and vice versa with me. Like, she can tell me, like, I don't like what you're wearing. I gotta change it, but I think that's what I set up for. So I think like, why are you laughing? No, I was like, because I'm like, oh, but that's your answer. Hold on, before we're done, was that your answer? What's doing you look like? <clears throat> no, she made an ill face in the back. I was like, oh, I'm like, yeah, we had the opportunity for the audience. So it's only like, wow. I'm interested to see. I'm interested to hear what you say. I'm, I'm, let me let's let me. Because and it, it speaks to what both of you guys or a couple people have said that con that aspect of compromise so many more often than not these days that's compromise is turning into something totally different it's becoming you're conforming it's going from compromise to conforming okay you don't like my hair like that well my hair was like this before I met you and this is how I like my hair I might switch it up once in a while I might wear red nail polish once in a while but I'm not now wearing this shit every fucking day because I don't like that. Because what it does happen is, and, I, and I've been married, so I'm with you on that. I've been married and divorced. So I'm going to say that, and that's why I wanted everybody to answer individually, because doing you just has to be that. You have to do you regardless. Mm -hmm. And the person you have to be where some people are blessed enough to get a partner or a wife or a husband or a girlfriend or boyfriend that can accept you doing you. But I'm still going to do all the me shit. Now, if you don't like it, you're probably not going to make it that far with me but i'm going to still do me because other than that now i'm doing you right i'm doing the bitch that you want i don't want to be the bitch i want to be me and not you want me right. not like oh i want to get with you and become the bitch that you want you was already supposed to want the person that i am and yes i think that that's i really agree with you i agree with all of you like as far as doing you i feel like um with the whole compromise thing, when you're dating someone, you're dating them for who 
they are. That's where un, when you're dating them, that's where unconditional love comes mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. You know, when you when you were dating me, uh, I'm pretty sure I was switching my hair. Women, we switch our hair all the time. Right. Okay. Like one day I might want short hair, and next day I might want long hair. So it's not going to be out of nowhere. Where it's like, you know what? I don't, I don't like that short one. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like you know, all like switch up my hair. You know, but so in a relationship, you gotta be prepared for. It. I'm like, I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you want to change it, then you can. That's right. like you. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't want someone to fall into. Oh, he likes blue nails. I'm gonna get blue nails all the time. No, I wear sometimes. It's, Right, I, I spice it a little bit. Right. You know, but I think sometimes, whether it be man or woman, we compromise ourselves on our own. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, falling into those expectations all the time. Like, right. you didn't say it's your birthday. Okay, I get the blue. You know, right. like, like, it's your birthday. I'm gonna put it on. Just like I like them. Exactly, but it's just like it's just like. <laughs> Crazy. That's a great way to bring everything back around because it goes into expectation. We think just because, like you said, oh, we like blue nose. Now we want you to get up all the time. No, who doesn't like variety? I think that you know hmm, the switching of the hair thing and all that is just it's for me. And I feel like you want me enough to know that you're comfortable enough with what's underneath of me and my personality and all those things that something like that is not going to matter. And I I think that more often. We just get wrapped up in that. Like you said, the, the whole compromise is like, oh, now I have to do this and I have to do that. Just like, who's to know? Your wife might not be opposed to you. Because it, it goes down to, and I'm, I'm not going to try to attack you, check, because I know you're the only like, actual relationship person. You're married, so everybody else is questioning people. <laughs> real shit. We be honest. Like, everybody else, you're, you're married or you're single. That's it. So, realistically, um, with you saying what you said about, oh, well, I have to you know, do this and do that. It's, it's all about what you want to do. When you get married, you may not want to go out with, you know, and go in the club. But if you do, what's the big deal? I still love you. I'm still married and I want to go to the club. Why is that now not on the list of things that I want to do? Because I'm not allowed to do Right, right. right. But, 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 I, but I, I don't want to get this too caught up to the Ike and Tina lifestyle, right? I think <laughs> I, that... Like, what? No, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. My wife on how I dress and she values mine. That's just perfect matrimony. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like if you and, and there's no shot again, mm -hmm. if you are do you the way you are and you had a guy that was the exact way of you, where do y'all connect? We probably wouldn't. And that's the thing. Like as somebody has to compromise. A guy has to take you like how you are, but he's gonna have to give up a little of himself to be able to accept who you are. And it's, Unless and then you are going to be the. Yeah, you're going to be I disagree. I disagree, and I feel like that's why. And I and I love that you said that. As somebody that don't mean I need to be in a relationship. Right. You, this is not going to work. It's not going to be conducive and cohesive for a long term. We might have a lot of fun six months and we might hang out. You, you could be the bro. I might fuck this. Sex might be good, all that, but a lot of our personality traits are not going to mesh and at some point, this is going to come to an end. Mm -hmm. If this is somebody that I see my future with, I have got, and that's just me, and I don't know how many people are not living in their thousand percent truth, but I don't have that. And it might be on my, I'm not married, so who knows? It might be to my default, but I can't. I feel like no matter how you slice it, if you focus too much on trying to bend and turn at some point, either your natural ways are going to come out or you're going to develop that resentment toward that person because I'm going to look up and be 45 like, how do I turn to this bitch when I've always been this bitch and I always want it to be? It's nothing wrong with somebody helping you grow because we all grow and evolve. But who are you exactly? That's like, growing me or growing me? Am I growing with you and turning into a better version of me? A bigger, better willow tree, or am I now turning into an oak tree because I started dating and marrying you? Right. Oh, where's my disconnect coming from? Because I see you. Oh, yes, that's a comment. Oh, yeah. Well, She's been doing that the whole episode. Because I'm talking about being yourself. Period. Because, okay, and I'm speaking from the perspective of being a married woman and twice married. Twice okay. From the perspective of being a married woman and twice married. Okay. At the end of the day, if you ever forsake who you are, you will regret it, period. Right. So even the compromise, the compromise is I accept you for who you are. I even accept and value that your opinion. And I value it so much 
but I also value my opinion. Right. And just like the regular people out in the street, I might go out and my hair might be pink. The people out in the street may not like it. My man may not like it, but I did. So right. that's why I'm wearing it. Right. It's no different from if the, the, the man puts an outfit on. I may not like it, but he feel good in it. Then, hey, that's what matters. And that's the part about doing you. You should never stop doing you because you're in a relationship. The moment you stop doing you because you're in a relationship, you have doomed the relationship. Yep. You no longer have a solid foundation in that thing. And that's marriage, relationship, any of the things. Like, seriously. Because you are losing sight of who you are. And I promise, I promise you, give it time. You talk to any person who is especially in marriage. You don't get to 50, 60, 70 years by doing exactly what your spouse wants you to do if right. you want to be happy and right. you want to live mm -hmm. and you want to live full with that person. No, please be you. Because Just you be you're not. And the right person going to fuck with it. Y'all know I got to. Listen, that's why we going to go out. I just, I don't. Hold on, hold on. I don't think Chad is going to chastise. Go ahead, we got a couple more minutes. I don't think Chad meant like lose yourself. Like when right. you brought up the uh, swapping clothes or shopping for his wife or his wife shopping for him, I think is the same as if uh, Sherman said, oh, I like those Burmese sweatpants on, well, let's try it this way and I'll go get more if that's, you know, if that's right. what you had then I like those on you so I'm going to get you this. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I may not I that's why I was kind of clear with the Tina Turner thing. I didn't take it as a Tina Turner thing. I think that it just, it just grew into a bigger conversation. It wasn't to come down on you, but I was more so speaking to a lot of people that do, again, go right. from compromising to conforming. I'm not necessarily saying that's your situation. I'm like, right, that's your opinion. Like but real, listen. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, seriously. You got a problem. That's your opinion. No, it's not. not. You know and I wanted to talk to the public, and that's why I wanted to have this conversation because it's just that level of understanding. So many people think, oh, I got to come into this relationship compromising, and I got to do this different, I got to change this. Mm -hmm. And that's all I wanted to say, bringing it bringing it to heaven. That's not the situation. You have, I literally stand by that. Just be you. They're going to fuck with it. The right person is going to fuck with it. And just understanding and being okay with this not being a right person. Just because I like him. Just because he's cute. Just because he dressed nice. Just because he got money. Just because he like me. That don't mean I like you back. I don't fucking like you. It's not working. It's not going to work. You can't. I'm not changing that. You don't like girls with short hair? Okay, so how are we going to have this conversation? You don't like girls with a lot of mouth? I'm trying to figure out then how are we still talking. Because I'm talking the same way. And then that it goes also into, and this is another thing, make sure you're not changing too much. All those things like your hair, you know. I get what y'all feeling as far as like catfish, but it's just like, well, understand if I like to wear makeup and these things, then that's what you're getting. <laughs> you probably gonna wanna see me once or twice without my makeup just to make sure you're cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> you not, don't wait six months and now we're together and it's your first time seeing me. Guys, demand a seat. Listen, I'm coming over your crib. Is this, all, this shit off? I like it and you look cute. But I need to see you because if you can't wake up and look at this person, it's not going to work. Right. And it's just, I feel like nobody's okay with saying, mm, nah, that's not going to work. Nobody wants to be the bad guy. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, it's not, no, no. Mm -hmm. That's part of going through food, though. Right? Yeah, it's like, no, it's not working for me. You're great. I'm sure you're a lovely person and so on. Bitches allowed to have, okay, so these are probably the bitches you need to go get. <laughs> I don't want you. You know what I mean? Right. I just think that everyone needs to just be comfortable with being themselves. I'm so glad that we ended this way. Just be comfortable with being yourself because at the end of the day, that's all you have left. Even in a marriage or relationship or whatever, mm -hmm. your partner could want to be with you for the rest of their life and then their life may end tomorrow, God forbid. So just understand that when it's all said and done, that's all you have is being yourself. I want to thank all of you guys, all of my guests, for coming in this amazing, amazing way to... Um, Said way halfway through season seven. I want to give everybody an opportunity to tell them where they can find y'all. Of course, we got. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Rated Personal Podcast. <laughs> uh, surface Thinking. Surface Thinking. Yeah, I've been talking the last time. I apologize. Okay. Surface Thinking with uh, Black and Chad. We got Rated Personal <laughs> Podcast. When do the podcast come out? Like, when the episodes release? How can you find us? I'm like, let us know. Okay, so we're on every podcast. Okay. Type on Rated Personal on there. We're also on Spotify. Um, episode one. Episode period. Episode one is not going. Episode two is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, and that's rated personal podcast. That's on Instagram, rated personal and underscore. underscore. Rated personal underscore. Make sure y'all follow. Make sure y'all check them out. Go on Google. Y'all got Google Play or just Spotify? Just Spotify. Spotify. So Andrews is no love. You gotta go on Spotify. Yeah. Every <laughs> Spotify. Rated, 
like very personal. How can we find? Uh, uh, same. Um, same. You got you got Google Play. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He gonna he's uh, equal opportunity Google Play. <laughs> Make sure you check. We gonna, we gonna check get, out. We gonna get, we gonna get, get it. It's okay. Y'all want it? Y'all want it? Y'all want it. Y'all want it. Service thinking with Blackie Chad, rated personal with Sco, Nene, and Tracy. I appreciate all you guys. Of course, yeah. tune in to talk to me Tuesday live with just Jocelyn each and every Tuesday night. I hope everybody has a good night. Talk to me Tuesday, it's fresh and it's juicy. Every week a new topic, and we can get it chopping. Talk to me Tuesday, it's fresh and it's juicy. Every week a new topic, and we can get it chopping.